Hello, I'm Pam of HealingStars.com. This is the chart set for Monday, 15th of June, it's set for London, UK, but I use whole signs as the house to give you a, a clearer picture. And it's colour coded as well, the colours of the rainbow. We start this week a very, very important week. One of the, I would think, the best weeks of, of the whole year. <laughs> so look out, be aware. First of all, Mercury, here it is in Gemini, five degrees. It moved forward. I always think that's a really good thing. It moved forward late on Thursday on the fourth, uh, sorry, 11th of June last week. Here's the moon in Gemini starting the week. And also Mars and the sun. Now they actually came together on Sunday, the 14th, but they are so close together. They are, Mars is combust to the sun, it's under the, the, the sunbeam, so to speak. It's imbued with the energy of the sun. Think of that, think of the sun and the warmth, the light, the strength, the confidence. The sun is our solar plexus in our physical body and it gives us that empowerment. It's also connected to Apollo, the sun god, creativity got music of the lyre. So here's Mars, the warrior, right next, standing right next to the king, the sun. The other major thing that's happened is that Saturn has now retrograded back into Scorpio for a few months, clearing up unfinished business. It's not going to affect every Scorpio, it really isn't. It's only affecting you if you're born right at the end of the sign of Scorpio. Then it is actually going back three times over your sun sign. Saturn isn't all bad. Saturn brings responsibility, the ability to respond. It also brings mastery, things that we practice over a long period of time and become a master. We are also starting the week, Tuesday, we get the new moon. The new moon is always a seed time. It's the time when the moon is invisible. It is not a good time to launch anything because the moon represents the public and the public aren't there. <laughs> it's often, astrology used to say, oh, always launch at a new moon, got the new energy. Well, no, I don't agree. Here it is, the chart is set for the new moon in the UK, 1505, which is summertime. And Mars is close, it's so close. Mars, the metal that governs the sun is gold. The metal that governs Mars is iron. Think of that, think of those qualities, think of the Martian the tools, the weapons, they need iron, they need strength, don't they? But gold is also the most wonderful metal that we all value. So valuing your strength, valuing your inner warrior. In the sign of Gemini, the sign of Gemini governed now by Mercury moving forward. Communication. And it's a dual sign, it's mutable, it's changeable. It needs some strength to make decisions. It's very flexible, that's the positive. But also, if you've noticed over the three weeks Mercury was retrograde, you might have been aware of people suddenly changing their minds. That's the negative aspect. Oh, shall I? Maybe not, maybe, you know. And that, if you're running anything, any workshop, for instance, a friend of mine is running a workshop you know, it really causes a lot of chaos to organisers. So Saturn is saying, come on, make your mind up and commit. When we keep our promise, when we commit to what we've started, then we will have success. The other wonderful thing that is going on this week, notice this trine, notice this blue flow of energy between Jupiter, planet of abundance, grace, Great good fortune, positive energy, it's a benefic, it means it helps you out. 
with Uranus in Aries. These are fire signs, Leo and Aries, which gives inspiration, which gives that wonderful positive energy that fire brings, uplifting. Think of fire itself. It rises, doesn't it? Uplifting. That becomes exact on Sunday the 22nd. But it's there all week. It's there. It's at the same degree, 19 degrees all week. And Jupiter will catch up and it will be at 20 degrees next Sunday. Next Monday, pardon me, next Monday, Monday week. This is the third time that Jupiter and Uranus have made this wonderful, and it is wonderful, connection with each other. The first, last year, September the 25th, that was at 15 degrees of Aries and 15 of Leo. The second time was March the 3rd this year at 14 degrees. That's when Jupiter was retrograde. Now Jupiter is forward, Uranus is first forward. It means that any big idea, any extravaganza that you might have had, some thought, some passion, can now really come into being and go forward with it. It's known as thank the Lord, combination, a release from tension. Suddenly things can work out in your favour. It is that lottery win. <laughs> we often dream of winning the lottery. But what do we really want? We want freedom, don't we? Most probably from financial problems, thinking that money will give us that. Well, it's not the money. It's obviously what we can buy with that. Because this is a very good time, I mean, a great week, to do the lottery, especially if you happen to have a planet at 19 or 20 degrees of Leo, or 20, 19, 20 degrees of Aries. Lottery winners, it's in the chart, I have to tell you, that you win a lottery. It's not something that everyone can do, but why not go for it? It's their excitement, the possibility, the potential. And that's what this seeding time in Gemini is all about. It's all about the power of our mind. We are creating our reality. All of us, the collective mind, and putting it to good purpose, I believe is how miracles occur in the world. The other exciting, this really is exciting this week, is what's going on after the new moon, is that, here it is, I'm just clicking forward. On Friday it starts. The moon by then will be in Leo. It will be visible in the night sky, it will join Venus and Jupiter, both very visible in the night sky. On Saturday, it's really close, it's between the two. You'll see that, look after dark, at half past nine, 10 o'clock in the UK, and look west, that's where all planets set in the west, and you will see these three wonderful, beautiful lights in the sky. Jupiter, great good fortune, the moon, the heart energy of Leo, and Venus, the goddess, all there, that's where they all are together. They join, still joining on the 21st on the, at the solstice. Notice here the sun right at the end, this is set for three in the afternoon. And then of course, the next day, Monday, 22nd of June, the sun is now in the sign of Cancer. That Venus-Jupiter is joining, that will join, they will come together as seen from the, from the Earth on the 1st of July, but they are still so close. So this week, wonderful, it's brilliant, it's fantastic, is to recognise opportunities. They often can pass us by. We can take it for granted that today is a wonderful day. And to feel that grace, gratitude, these wonderful, these qualities, the miracle mindedness for us all to join this week in praying for a miracle for someone you care about, someone who needs your help. And this could be people you don't even know. The higher our consciousness rises through the chakras, the more we can really feel the energy of people we've never met. 
this is my teacher Lensi Spisano taught me this and this is the third eye of chakra this is what that means it is seeing a photograph or reading something in the news and your heart opens and you feel their pain their suffering and that's how we can send miracles to people that we don't even know have a wonderful week it's full of joy it's full of celebration and especially enjoy the solstice next Sunday. I'm also on my website, Healing Stars. I've restarted a blog called Soul Purpose. I encourage you to sign up. I share a lot of processes. I share wonderful music that opens the heart. And I'd love to get to know you better. Thank you for watching. Pam Carruthers, a few.